Central Pollution Control Board of India as a statutory organization under the Ministry of Environment and Forests. It was established in 1974 under Water Act, 1974. CPCB is also entrusted with the powers and functions under the Air Act, 1981. It serves as a field formation and also provides technical services to the Ministry of Environment and Forests at the provisions of the Environment Act, 1986. It coordinates the activities of the state boards by providing technical assistance and guidance and resolve disputes among them. It is an apex organization and country in the field of pollution control, as technical wing of MOEF. The board is led by its chairman, who is nominated by the central government. The current acting chairman is Sri Arun Kumar Mehta IAS. CPCB has its head office in New Delhi, with seven zonal offices and five laboratories. The board conducts environmental assessment and research. It is responsible for maintaining national standards under a variety of environmental laws, in consultation with zonal offices, tribal, and local governments. It has monitoring the water and air quality and maintains respective quality data. The agency also works with industries and all levels of government in a wide variety of voluntary pollution prevention programs and energy conservation efforts. It advised the central government to prevent and control water and air pollution. It also advised the governments of union territories about an industry or the pollution source causing water and air pollution. CPCB along with its counterpart state pollution control boards are responsible for implementation of legislations relating to prevention and control of environmental pollution. The board has approximately 500 full-time employees including engineers, scientists, and environmental protection specialists. History CPCB is constituted on September 22, 1974 under Section 3 of the Water Act. 1974 with the main function to promote cleanliness of streams and wells in the different areas of the states. In 1981, after Air Act was passed, CPCB comes under the powers and functions of the Act. The original name of CPCB was Central Board for the Prevention and Control of Pollution. It was changed to CPCB on April 1, 1988 through Water Amendment Act, 1988 to promote cleanliness of streams, wells. The Environment Protection Act was passed in 1986 to close the gaps in the Water and Air Act, by adding some more functions to the CPCB. CPCB plays role in abatement and control of pollution in the country by generating relevant data, providing scientific information, rendering technical inputs for formation of national policies and programs, training and development of manpower and organizing activities for promoting awareness at different levels of the government and public. Functions of CPCB Functions of CPCB comes under both national level and as state boards for the Union Territories. CPCB, under the Water Act, 1974, and the Air Act, 1981, aims to promote cleanliness of streams and wells in different areas of the states by prevention, control and abatement of water pollution, and to improve the quality of air and to prevent, control or abate air pollution in the country. Air quality slash pollution, CPCB runs nationwide programs of ambient air quality monitoring known as National Air Quality Monitoring Program. The network consists of 342 operating stations covering 127 cities, towns and 26 states and four union territories of the country. Under NAMP, four air pollutants viz, sulfur dioxide, oxides of nitrogen as NO2, Suspended particulate matter and respirable suspended particulate matter have been identified for regular monitoring at all the locations. The monitoring of meteorological parameters such as wind speed and wind direction, relative humidity and temperature were also integrated with the monitoring of air quality. This information on air quality at ITO is updated every week. Water quality slash pollution Fresh water is a finite resource essential for use in agriculture, industry, propagation of wildlife and fisheries and for human existence. India is a river iron country. It has 14 major rivers, 44 medium rivers and 55 minor rivers besides numerous lakes, ponds and wells which are used as primary source of drinking water even without treatment. Most of the rivers being fed by monsoon rains, 
which is limited to only three months of the year, run dry throughout the rest of the year often carrying wastewater discharges from industries or cities or towns endangering the quality of our scarce water resources. CPCB in collaboration with concerned SPCBs PCCs established a nationwide network of water quality monitoring, which has running 10 19 stations in 27 states and 6 union territories. The monitoring process is done on quarterly basis in surface waters and on half-yearly basis in case of groundwater. It covers 200 rivers, 60 lakes, 5 tanks, 3 ponds, 3 creeks, 13 canals, 17 drains and 321 wells. Among the 1019 stations, 592 are on rivers, 65 on lakes, 17 on drains, 13 on canals, 5 on tanks, 3 on creeks, 3 on ponds and 321 are groundwater stations. The Inland Water Quality Monitoring Network is operating under a three-tier program that is Global Environment Monitoring System, Monitoring of Indian National Aquatic Resources System and Yamuna Action Plan. Urban Area Programs, CPCB Programs for Urban Areas, also known as ECO City Program comes under X plan to improve environment through implementation of identified environmental improvement projects in the selected towns and cities. Pilot studies conducted for urban areas by the Center for Spatial Environmental Planning created at the CPCB under the World Bank funded Environmental Management Capacity Building Project and supported by the GTZ CPCB project under the Indo-German Bilateral Program. According to these studies CPCB develop a comprehensive urban improvement system employing practical, innovative and non-conventional solutions. Under the X plan, a budget provision of RS15 Cruy has been made for the period 2002 March to 2006 07 for the ECOCITY projects. Municipal Solid Waste Rules Every municipal authority comes under the Municipal Solid Waste Rules, 2000 and responsible for collection, segregation, storage, transportation, processing, and disposal of municipal solid. CPCB collects necessary information for municipal authorities and provide them technical assistance. Noise pollution slash rules, according to SO 123, E, by MOEF, various sources like industrial activity, construction activity, generator sets, loudspeakers, public address systems, music systems, vehicular horns, and other mechanical devices have deleterious effects on human health. CPCB has the responsibility to regulate and control noise producing and generating sources with the objective of maintaining the ambient air quality standards. Environmental Data Statistics CPCB manages environmental data statistic in which air quality data and water quality data come through. In the case of air quality data, it measures the level of SO2, NO2, RSPM and SPM. CPCB measure and maintains water quality data as well. Quality level of river and ponds are the major fields which comes under the water quality data criteria. Organizational structure. CPCB is led by its chairman following by the member secretary. The CPCB performs its various functions through the following nine major project backslash budget heads. Pollution assessment. R&D and laboratory management. Development of standards and guidelines for industry-specific emissions and effluent standards, training, information database management and library, pollution control technology, pollution control enforcement, mass awareness and publications, hazard waste management. Divisions of CPCB Head Office, CPCB Head Office is currently divided into 22 divisions. Each division have its own in charge and individual sets of goals. Pollution Control Planning Division Pollution, Assessment, Monitoring and Survey Pollution Control Implementation Division I, Pollution Control Implementation Division II Pollution Control Implementation Division, III Urban Pollution Control Division Hazardous Waste Management Division Environmental Surveillance Squad Division Information Technology Infrastructure Division Environmental Training Unit Legal Cell, PR Section As Section, Building Section, Library, Hindi Section 
Administration, PCI. Administration, Material. Accounts. Zonal Offices, CPCB has established seven zonal offices catering to various states. Zonal offices are field offices of CPCB and all the schemes are prepared at head office are executed by them. Zonal offices undertake field investigation and send reports on water quality monitoring, air quality monitoring, industrial inspection and other such related activities to the head office for further action. Each zonal office caters to a fixed number of states. The zonal offices are located at Bengaluru, Kolkata, Shillong, Bhopal, Lucknow, Vedodara and a project office at Agra. See also, Environmental Issues in India, Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education, Ban Vigyan Kendra Forest Science Centres. References External links, Central Pollution Control Board, 2014 Changes in CPCB2 Generator Law in India.